Greetings. Today, we're going to learn how to pair the Zoll E-Series monitor with the unit cell phone. What you'll need is the Zoll, the cell phone, and possibly the pairing instructions, which you can obtain probably from a link under the video. Um, the first thing you'll do is make sure that the Bluetooth light on the cell phone is activated, indicating that the Bluetooth feature is on. And then what you do is you'll access the Zoll system utilities by holding the left soft key and powering the monitor on. It'll take a second. All right, as you can see, there's different options down here. We're going to go with Bluetooth. We're going to go with Pair Now. It's initializing. All right, we're going to go ahead and follow the instructions here, which indicates to change the pin to 000. So that's what we'll do by hitting Change Pin. 0000. zero, zero, zero. Return. Search now. It's searching. Does the cell phone have to be open? No, it doesn't. It just has to be within range. It found Engine One cell phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit Pair to Device. It says it's paired. Now, if it didn't say that it was paired for whatever reason, if they weren't communicating, you'd follow the instructions and troubleshoot it. Most likely it's just a uh, communication issue between the cell phone and the Zoll. However, if you type in the correct code, it should come up with paired. Once we know that they're paired, what we'll do is we'll add it to list. Now, if you want to come in and zoom in on this, you'll see add to list. We're going to hit that. And that's where the instructions come into play. Um, we're going to go ahead and hey, the ISP that. number is uh, going to be star 99 pound. So we'll go ahead and add that in. Next, the login name is going to be left empty. The password name is going to be left empty. We'll have these three uh, values entered in. We hit accept. Going to save it as the uh, default cell phone to communicate with this particular Zoll. So now we'll do, we'll return. At this point, they should be paired. And then we'll go into testing it, which you can do by switching it on to monitor mode. We'll go into 12 lead. We'll go into patient info, patient records. And this will pa pull up all the past EKGs you've done in the last couple days. What we'll do is we'll transmit one of them. We're going to transmit it to EMS1, which is Chief Fuller. It'll go straight to his email. And it's a good way of testing whether or not both units are fully functional. What will happen at this point is you'll see that there's a Bluetooth light on the top of the Zoll. That will switch on to green at this point. And when they start communicating, you'll see both the green light turn to a blue light on the Zoll. And you'll see the little blue light on the cell phone uh, change from blue to red and switch back forth between those two colors. The transmission process takes a, a minute or so, so bear with me. But... Um, this is the, the one sure way to make sure that they're both communicating correctly. And that picture of the Bluetooth right there, that's the same picture that you're looking for on the cell phone, right? This is the, yeah, the icon that you're looking for on the top of the cell phone. Okay. So I see at this point, this little light, the Bluetooth light on the phone, has now started flashing for red and blue, red and blue, and this is blue. So we can... We can deduce that it's probably transmitting. It should take another 30 seconds or so, at which point this will say transmission complete. Let's stand by for that.
Transmission completed. There we go. So now it's sent. It sent that 12 lead to Chief Fuller's email. Um, you could probably uh, establish that both are communicating effectively. If you run into any issues, you could always check with the instructions. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.